Hi, the SI Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, November 12th. Well, a mild break in the weather. Saturday, Sunday will continue today. One last day before a strong cold front moves through late tonight, early tomorrow. And that'll start a downward trend in temperatures tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures in the Mid-Atlantic region should hold steady or, or even drop during the afternoon hours. And we'll certainly be back to below normal for Wednesday and Thursday, perhaps even Friday as well after our three-day break from the early cold November weather pattern. Let's take a look at the latest surface map. One more day of warmth here in the Mid-Atlantic region with a broad southerly flow out ahead of this strong cold front. This cold front means business. It went through Chicago and changed weather conditions really from summer to winter with a drop of 30 degrees over just a few hour period. There's a lot of rainfall associated with this frontal system, but that kind of loses some of its punch by the time it reaches the east coast. While I do expect some shower activity later on tonight into the morning hours to, tomorrow right along the I-95 corridor, it won't be quite as heavy as what they've been experiencing out here in the middle part and of the country all the way into the Midwest as it's losing some of its punch. However, the temperature change will still be quite dramatic after the mid to upper 60s in many mid-Atlantic locations this afternoon. Again, we'll be uh, uh, much cooler tomorrow with highs probably reached in the morning hours in most areas along I-95, perhaps in the low to mid 50s, and then temperatures dropping uh, into the 40s during the afternoon and tomorrow night will be downright cold with temperatures way down near 30 degrees in the big cities. Well, here's the current radar loop, and again, it looks very impressive right now. In fact, it is quite impressive here out over the Ohio Valley with what looks like a wall of water headed toward the east coast. However, it loses some of its punch by the time it reaches the mid-Atlantic coastal regions later on tonight. Most of the shower activity associated with this front will fall late this evening and in the overnight hours, and then into the morning hours tomorrow afternoon should see some clearing from west to east, some sunny intervals, and at the same time, the winds will pick up out of the northwest, and temperatures could very well drop during the afternoon here in the mid-Atlantic I-95 corridor. Here's the latest infrared satellite loop from the SSEC Wisconsin website, and just a broad band of clouds associated with this frontal system headed towards the east coast. It changed the weather conditions over the central plains and uh, the upper part of the Midwest last night, and it will uh, bring about uh, about of reality back to the mid-Atlantic region by tomorrow after one more day of warmth here with temperatures reaching the 60s in most mid-Atlantic locations but by uh, Wednesday it'll be a struggle to reach 50 degrees with many areas staying only in the upper 40s which is well below normal for this time of year. Behind the front lots of clear skies really from the Midwest all the way out to the West Coast and after this frontal system passes on through, it'll be relatively storm-free for the rest of the week here in the eastern states. Next week, however, could be a different, a different story. Well, let's take a look at a couple computer forecast maps for the short-term situation, the cold frontal passage, and then we'll just take a quick look ahead to next week as there's a potential for an east coast storm once again next week. That looks like it could be a prolonged period of storminess along the East Coast next week, Thanksgiving week. This is the last night's GFS model run, Zero Z model run, the forecast map for tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. And here the front is working its way through the East Coast with uh, quite a bit of rainfall associated with it. Again, it's primarily in the, the late night and morning hours, there'll be some rainfall as its cold front presses to the east. Uh, it does lose some of its punch compared to what uh, has fallen out over the middle part of the country, but nonetheless, a decent uh, rain event is coming for late tonight, tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, this high pressure will be edging in, and, and there'll be some clearing skies, some winds picking up, and probably the temperatures dropping during the afternoon here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Well, here's a forecast map for Wednesday morning. By this time, all the precipitation is off the coast, and nothing but chilly high pressure here. Again, it looks relatively storm-free for the rest of the week. But on the cool side, we'll certainly be below normal on Wednesday and Thursday, and perhaps into Friday as well. Normal high temperatures, for example, right around now in Philadelphia is about 58 degrees, and we'll struggle to reach 50 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday. Well, let's just kind of jump ahead to next week and just look at some of the possibilities here. Again, relatively storm-free for the rest of this week here in the east, 
but next week could be a different story altogether. This is the GFS forecast map for next Monday night, about a week away, a little more than a week away, and it has a slow-moving coastal storm with a, a long fetch of northeast winds and some precipitation right here along the mid-Atlantic coast, and it's not the only model doing that. Now, let's take a look at the European model. And here's the European model for the same time frame next Monday night, about a week away. And it has a storm sitting right along the coast with lots of precipitation right back into the mid-Atlantic region. In both situations, the upper level pattern is such a, uh, uh, develops a deep trough in the east. And that could lead to a prolonged period for this storm in us to occur, maybe in the uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. It's still a week away. We'll have to watch that. But a uh, strong cold frontal passage here in the next 12 to 24 hours, and then storm-free for the rest of the week, this week, albeit on the cool side for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Well, that's it for now. For the SIWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.